Good morning, folks. We're going to be pretty focused on space weather today. We will make a quick seismic note at the end as we investigate a new topic, but the big story is yesterday's X-Class solar flare releasing the third Earth-directed CME. Let's go ahead and check out the last 24 hours on our star, where we find the only significant event was a flash at the large sunspot group that has just passed center disk. It may not have been significantly long duration, but it did release a CME, the third one we'll expect to impact over the coming days. Solar wind right now is fairly calm and steady, but that probably will not be the case by the time we see each other again. NOAA has added the second CME we discussed yesterday to their endless spiral, and they are supposed to impact tonight and tomorrow. I think the spread on those may be a bit high in the model, but alas, both are coming. And then, we had the third one. Here's the X-Class solar flare from yesterday afternoon. Not directly center disk, but close enough that its eruption caused a full halo CME on SOHO. Not tremendously dense, but a halo event nonetheless. NASA's Enlil Spiral has this one on it and forecasts an impact late on Sunday, so that makes three small but directly Earth-facing CMEs expected this weekend. In addition to watching for those impacts beginning as early as a few hours from now, we'll be keeping watch for more flares. Still no shortage of sunspots, and we can tell there may be one more coming over the limb on the south. We are all eyes open on space weather. Lastly, folks, jumping back to the magnitude 7.1 earthquake near Japan we shared yesterday, the red lines to the south of it outline what's known as the Philippine Plate. There were several commenters yesterday who suggested the 7.1 was the first thrust event on that plate, which could signal the plate is trying to break free and shift. That would be very bad. I would be trying to check the beach ball data for past quakes to confirm that claim, while also constantly watching the seismic activity around it as well. One more thing to track. We greatly appreciate your support. Solar impacts are on their way. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.